right, so we're going to talk about Mike Osborne's lawn care. The, uh, my name's Tom East, the way they call me TJ. Man, he says he's a, he's a veteran. I'm a veteran, too. Regular Army, Charlie Company, 1st to the 5 2nd, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. And uh, Mike, he's saying he's a Marine, which I love Marines. I've known a lot of Marines in my life. But Mike's a bad name for Marines. He's a bad name for uh, anything that has to do with the armed forces. I was in a bad position in my life. I wanted to support my family. It was winter time, and uh, I needed to find a job. I needed to find a job for a felon. I'm a felon. I'm ex-military and I'm a felon, so I got both sides there. And uh, and I'm a Mexican, Mexican American Indian. And I so happened to bump across Mike, and he was looking for somebody to come work for his landscaping business and this, that, and the other. And I'm a hard worker. Well, I didn't have a driver's license at the time that I went to go work for him. I went to go work for him to do landscaping. And uh, he hired me at $8 an hour. And like I said, it was, it was, I needed the money. I needed to support my family. I needed, I needed the paycheck. I needed help at the time. And that was a business that I chose to go to at the time until I could find something a little bit better for myself. Uh, Mike's a mean person. He's got that Mighty Mouse syndrome or whatever. And uh, so being as he's the boss, he's in charge. And I understand this. And everybody that worked for him at that time did understand it. There was a couple of Mexicans that worked uh, right, right along beside me and and he treated them like shit. He treated me like shit. He treated them like shit. He treated us all like shit. Um, he had a, that ice removal business, and he's really big on removing ice and, and, and having the snow trucks and the plow trucks and this, that, and the other. It don't matter if you have a driver's license. It don't matter what you have or what you don't have as credentials to do the job that that – that he has it just uh he don't give a shit he just wants to make that dollar like all the other americans and this that and the other um but if you can put up with his anger his anger is known with every employee that's ever worked for him his anger is so enormous if you don't wash that window, if you don't do this, that, and the other, you're fired. You're done. I'll take your job. I'll stop your money. You'll go back home. You won't work for me. You won't be able to feed your family. That's how I'm going to treat you. You don't listen to me. That's how it's going to be. I'm the boss. I'm the king. That's you. You ain't nothing. You ain't shit. You work for me. At that time, I had to put up with this. Mike Osborne's lawn care. I had to put up with it because I needed the everyday paycheck to feed my kids. I wanted to get back on my feet. At that time, it was a struggling time for me. I'm not struggling no more. I'm a full-time mechanic. I work for myself. And uh, I've always been a mechanic. But, you know, sometimes us mechanics, we fall on hard times, this, that, and the other, you know. And, you know, sometimes we need that paycheck. So at $8 an hour, I just got out of prison five, six years ago. And at $8 an hour, I needed that. I wanted to get back on my feet. I wanted to be back there with my family. And uh, that's the business that gave me the opportunity at that time. So I watched him treat his employees like shit. And it's just screaming, yelling, demanding, just bam, bam, bam. But nobody wants to lose their job. Everybody needs the job. At the same time, you know, I, I was on parole. I needed to, I, I needed it. I could not lose this job at all. So the storms hit, the winter hit, this, that, and the other. 
I'm still making eight dollars an hour. He told me I couldn't go no farther. But yet then there's a guy beside me that's his best friend making like fifteen, twenty dollars an hour doing the same thing I'm doing. And we're driving his trucks. Driver's license or not, we're driving his trucks. His snow trucks that are insured through his company, this, that, and the other. I I drove a snow truck, plow truck, salt truck for him, for Mike Osborne, the honest Marine looking for veterans and this, that, and the other, treat everybody equally and this, that, and the other. I drove down here to Radcliffe. I drove to down here in Vine Grove. I drove down here in e uh, Leachfield. I drove down here in Lexington. I drove down here in Louisville. I went to every Walgreens. At that time, we was hitting Walgreens and uh, quite a few other places. Um, Valvolines. Hit all the Valvolines. We was plowing snow, salt and ice, and I didn't have a driver's license and he knew about it. And the, 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 what he held over my head was if I'm gonna keep my fucking job, I'm gonna keep on rolling, I'm gonna keep on moving. There was times when the hardest snows hit, the hardest ice hit to where we hit companies two, three times in a night. Lexington, Louisville, E-Town, Kentucky, Radcliffe, Kentucky, Leechfield. And we'd leave, come back. we load up all the way back in Shepherdsville and come all the way back down here. Keep on driving all day, all through the night, all day the next day. I slept in his in his office, basically, you know, in the, in the front lobby whenever I got tired in between runs because I was so exhausted. Saturdays, Sundays, I mean... When the snow hit, you don't stop. That's when you work the hardest, and he could not get enough drivers, except for us little guys that needed the paycheck. So on one of the last runs, uh, it was all Saturday. I stayed there. I, I slept there in the nights. I didn't come home because I wanted to make money for my family. I worked all day, worked all night. Saturday went by, Sundays went by, Mondays, Tuesdays. We was getting hard. We, I was making him so much money driving trucks, uh, running his equipment, that he made tons off of Walgreens. He made so much off of Walgreens, it wasn't even funny. He made so much money off of Valvoline, it wasn't even funny. And even if there wasn't nothing there to really do, or we've already taken care of it, we build them twice. We build everybody as much as we could bill them, even if there wasn't a job to do. I've seen, he does good work. There's good work that comes out of his business, yes, I know, because it's on the back of the Mexicans that work for him. The Mexicans that treat him like shit. And... There's a lot of a Spanish descent that have worked for Mike, and they just, he just plows him right on over, and I don't like it. So it came upon a time I worked for days and days and days on end, slept there in the nights, and I got my paycheck, my measly eight dollars an hour, no overtime, no time and a half. No, here, you worked on Sunday, here, take this extra, or take this under the table, or this, that, and the other, because he's a big fan of paying under the table and cutting back, cutting back on whatever he can hide financially, and everybody knows this. He had a partner at the time that hired me with him, a uh, white dude, uh, kind of tall, and I knew him too. Mike got into a physical altercation with that man, um... And he didn't tell nobody because of what Mike would have had over his head. So the Mike Osborne lawn care, the Mike Osborne in Louisville and Shepherdsville that I know as a veteran, you know, I see his things, you know, will hire veterans and don't want no crackheads that he has on his page that I see him posted here today, which is why I'm making this video is this is the truth about Mike. You know, we're all working all day long and he's all buddy-buddy because it's his business with bringing in people, doing drugs, and this, that, and the other, the trucks. I was scared to drive his trucks. One, I didn't have a license at the time. Paraphernalia in the trucks because when Mike gets in a truck, he's always, he's always doing something illegal. And 
That is what scared me. Because not only would I have been a felon, no driver's license at the time, but I would have been having paraphernalia in the vehicle I'm driving because I know Mike drove it before me. Now, the truth about Mike, he's got the business face. He's got the talk. He's got the money. Um, I recently got a check in the mail from a law firm or uh, IRS. I don't remember what it was from or whatever. Uh, from Mike Osborne's business, you know, at that time, I don't know if it was the same business as he's running now or if he's went bankrupt or changed the name and changed the uh, machines and this, that, and the other. But either way, he's back in business. He's got a good business. He might have been in business for two, three years or whatever. I just know that they sent me a compensation if I was, you know, didn't want to argue this or he, he, messed up on the paperwork on the money and this that and the other and they offered me money in a check they gave me a check last year and says you know we've been going through his his paperwork and uh mike's offered to pay you this compensation well it was a fucking joke in fact i just ripped it up because it was that big of a fucking joke to me i don't want nothing to do with that man and uh but if you're a veteran a true for real veteran like me, don't go work for that man because we had a hard up. It was the hardest part in my life and he used the hardest point in my life to keep my labor. He used everything he had against me to keep me working for him at a low pay. There's some Mexican homies that, that was working with me too. And they didn't get paid shit. They didn't get paid much of anything. He kept everything low. He kept everything quiet. He kept things above your head. The first one to screw over a veteran, the first one to screw over the Spanish heritage, that's that man. Sure, he's got a business. Sure, he's doing good. I don't know where he gets his money. I mean, I know he may have come up from nothing and this, that, and the other, and that's cool. That's fine. I agree with that. Um, but the man is a real piece of shit. And for him to call himself a Marine, I think the Marines need to handle their own man. Because that is not a Marine. That is not somebody I'd want to stand beside me and protect me if I'm at war. <clears throat> this is the truth about Mike Osborne's lawn care. And, uh, you know, I want to let him know I'm still around. I'm still here. You know, I still see you. I still see you flashing all the lies and flashing all the big, bright, you know, we can make your lawn beautiful and this, that, and the other. But the only reason you're making anything beautiful is off the backs of others because you had the financial means to be able to start this business that you had. Yeah, you mowed lawns when you was a kid. Yeah, you, you made money when you was a kid. Yeah, you started from nothing and you worked your way up. I'm a full-time mechanic. I'm fine. I got my own thing going on. I do my own work and I take care of my family. But the minute you came in my life, I regretted it. And I'm telling you right now, I'm telling all Louisville, all the Latinos, all the Spanish heritage, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even going to see a brother working for him. Let me see a brother working for that man. Yeah, ain't no brother going to work for that man. If it is, it's going to be rare. <clears throat> and if he does work for him, it's because he's just needs it for a political view. And that's not the way it should work. The, uh, the truth about Mike Osborne Lawn Care. Don't let him fool you, man. Don't let him fool you. Ladies, whatever. He'll get you. I'm telling you, he will get you. The day I got fired, as I chose that day, I was making that $8 an hour still. I done worked Leachfield. I done worked Leachfield two or three times that, that day, the day before. And uh, I worked Radcliffe. I worked 
E-Town. I worked Lexington, Vavilines. I worked everything. And the only reason I worked these places is because I'm, I live down in this area. If I wanted to take a break, I could take a break down in this area. But I went in to get my pay. And my pay was so low that I couldn't even explain to my wife why I was even gone. My hours were there. Everything was there. But my $8 an hour just was low. Bottom line. Two, three days out on the road, on the ice, on the snow. You know, not even a licensed driver. Driving for Mike Osborne Lawn Care. And uh, I just laughed, man. I asked him to make it right. He wouldn't make it right. Finally, after a little bit of debate, he wrote a $200 check, put it on a table, told me to get out. He's not going to sit there and talk to me about that because I was upset. Yeah, I was upset. You know what I'm saying? I felt used, man. Mike Osborne Lawn Care, man. He may show a good face. He may show a good picture to the community of Louisville, but don't let it fool you. I have nothing to lose telling you this, and I have nothing to gain telling you this. I'm just telling the city of Louisville that if you want a crooked man to be hired in your community, to treat your Spanish community bad, to treat your veterans bad behind the scenes when they're working for him, and they ain't going to say nothing. Oh, don't let them say nothing. They're done. Why do you think that man always gets robbed? That man's done so many people wrong. It ain't even funny. That man's part of the worst part of the community in Louisville on the side that the people who can afford his business are helping support. So, me, Mike Osborne Lawn Care, you know what I'm saying? You can go fuck yourself. And Mike Osborne, if you got something to say, by God, you come, you come see me. We'll talk about it. I'm always up to talking. You're a piece of shit, dude. I figure since I saw your business out there, 2019, I'll go ahead and say something too. 2019, you're still a piece of shit.